next one is about Jamie Foxx and what's going on with his health. Chris, what do we got? This is from the Hannah cast. Hey, John and crew, we all love Jamie Foxx. Not really a hot take. But as we know, he had some health problems last month and he was sent to the hospital. We all thought he'd be okay, easy peasy. But now his family is apparently fearing for the worst. I'd be so sad if we lost Jamie Foxx. He's far too young. What are your thoughts? All right, thanks a lot for writing that in. And yeah, this one, this one is um, a very odd situation. It's very odd. Jamie Foxx is one of the hottest stars in Hollywood. You can put him in action. You can put him in comedy. You can put him in drama. He won an Academy Award for drama. You can put him in something like Collateral, which some people think might be his best movie that he did with Tom Cruise. You can put him in something like Ray, which he won an Academy Award for. You can put him in something like Django Unchained, which I don't remember. I don't think he was nominated for an Academy Award for that, but he could have been. Should have been. He was he absolutely fantastic. And God, I love, nobody talk, whenever we talk about Jamie Foxx, people bring up all those other movies. Nobody brings up Baby Driver. He's so good in Baby he's Driver. He's great in Baby he Driver. He's so fantastic yeah. in that movie. And he's, you know, this, he's got action hero written all over him. He's got this new movie coming out uh, with Cameron Diaz that I'm kind of excited to see. He wasn't able to finish shooting it because of the health issues, but they were able, they apparently they were done most of the heavy lifting with his role, so they used a body double just to finish off stuff, if I remember correctly. But the stuff with his health is has been confusing. That this megastar, who's right in the midst of his career, giving us great and sometimes not so great entertainment, right? He doesn't write the movies. He just appears in them and does the best job he can in them. But, you know, we, we got a report last month that, of course, very suddenly and unexpectedly he had to be rushed to the hospital. And everybody was like, oh, no, like what, what's going on? Then reports came out that he's recovering. Okay, great. But they never actually said, nor do they need to, because there's such a thing as privacy, whether you're a celebrity or not. Uh, but they decided never to actually disclose what the specifics were about his health issue. And that's fine. They, they shouldn't have to do that. It's his own personal medical issue. But it left fans feeling very nervous. And then the longer this has gone on, it's made people more nervous. Like, what condition will keep you in the hospital this long? Now, Whenever you got a situation like this, the yap birds are going to come out of the woodwork. And I have literally read two completely opposite reports in the last little while. The one report, which is getting all the headlines because it's the sexier report because it's dramatic and negative, is this thing that the family is preparing for the worst. Uh, this comes from Hypebeast who wrote, uh, despite these positive reports, Fox is still hospitalized and the lack of information and general updates have led many to theorize about his condition, with some news outlets even providing live updates. One report said that Fox's condition was dire when he entered the hospital on April 12th and noted an unnamed source saying, but he wouldn't be in the hospital this long if he was anything close to okay. His friends and family are hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. And that last part, his family and friends are hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. That is the snippet that's run across the internet. I want to point out though, and, and by the way, that might be true. It might be true. But I want to point out the first part of the quote. But he wouldn't be, uh, where, where am I? Right there. But he wouldn't be in a hospital this long if he was anything close to okay. That tells me that whoever this anonymous source is doesn't actually know anything. That's That looks like somebody who's speculating and trying to figure it out. He wouldn't be in hospital this long if he was anything close to okay. So I don't know who they're quoting, and I don't know where this is coming from. But the person saying that now saying, oh, but the family and friends are hoping for the best but expecting the worst. Again, it might be true. It might be. The problem is just two days ago, I read a report in Yahoo News, they're claiming their source saying he's recovering nicely and they 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 think he's going to make a recovery and he's recovering. That was just two days ago. This sort of reminds me of when uh, Renner was in the hospital and they interviewed family members and they said, they were like, he's okay, I guess. He might have to lose a leg. And it and was people like- didn't really know. Yeah. yeah. That's what and, this reminds me of. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens when we, listen, when we as the public, not even- the fans, but we as the public, when we don't have information, information we are not, you know, um, 
entitled to. But when we don't have information we're not entitled to, we speculate. Maybe that's human. Yeah, maybe they're just trying to fish an answer out. I like, think so. Yeah. It's like a bait. It's or like a bait. Or just trying or, to get attention. Or yeah. yeah. I mean I mean or or it's real. But we as people speculate when we don't actually have information. And that's fine. That's human for us to do. The problem is when our speculation becomes misunderstood for fact. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's a dangerous situation. So look, am I concerned about Jamie Foxx? Yeah, I said on this show last week that the fact that he's still in hospital, I mean, he's been in hospital twice as long as I was when I had a heart attack. So yeah, as a fan of Jamie Foxx, that makes me concerned. I'm worried. Yes. But now we're seeing all these ops head guys. Again, it always goes back to this. When you read a story, look at the source, and don't just read the one line summary. Read the context. Because again, like this one here is, but he wouldn't be in hospital this long if he was anything close to okay. I mean, this kind of tells me that eh, maybe this isn't the most reliable thing and we shouldn't be holding vigils just yet. Hopefully not. Anyway, Chris, you read about this. What's your take on this? I mean, historically, Jimmy Fox has been an incredibly private person. Yes. All of his interviews involve a lot of jokes, talking about his co-stars, talking about the process of making his films and everything. Very little about his private life. I mean, we've all speculated he was with Katie Holmes for, what, almost half a decade or so, about six years. Mm -hmm. and, so there's no, and there's no confirmation <laughs> from any of them of just, well, that's none of your business. <laughs> and so I feel like it's just right on par with how he's led his life. It's a very private one. And like anyone's medical history, it's none of your goddamn business. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Guys, oh, question is for you. <laughs> what do you think about this? There are news outlets reporting completely opposite information from each other. Obviously, all of us are fans of Jamie Foxx and we're all nervous and stuff like that. But don't let the nervousness that we have allow us to start grappling on to wild speculation that's out there. We'll see what's going to happen. Whatever you guys feel about this, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Summer's coming. Are you ready to unveil your beach bod? Manscaped is here to ensure your body is ready for the wild with their game-changing full body grooming and hygiene products. It is time to get ready for summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code Campia. Guys, you know, I've been using Manscaped products for a while now, and I love starting every day feeling cleaner, fresher, and way more comfortable. Manscaped is dedicated to helping you increase your confidence and level up your full body grooming game with the Performance Package 4.0. The kit comes with the Essential Lawnmower 4.0, waterproof cordless body trimmer, and a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your grooming routine. Inside the Performance Package, you'll also find the Manscaped Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver ball toner and anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer because we know how painful chafing can be when you're wearing your bathing suit all day. And no one likes nose hair, so their package also comes with the Weed Whacker 2.0. You also get two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag, a $39 value, and the patented high-performance reduced chafing Manscaped boxers. Get 20% off plus free shipping when you go to manscaped.com slash campia and use the code campia. That's 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com com slash campia and use the code campia trim your chesticles with the besticles